How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing a gum chewing show and tell here today. And if you could see from this picture or uh, my previous video, because I'm filming these back to back, it involves goosebumps. It's showing the goosebumps books that I own. There's all those. This is like the original run, I guess, and these are different ones that I'll get into. Let me know, anybody, I just obviously finished up the one book, The Headless Ghost one, if you watched the previous video. If you guys want to see more readings of these, because I'm considering just selling these before we leave, or most of them at least. So if you're into them, you know, let me know so I have a reason to kind of keep a few of them at the very least. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, let's start with this. Now, I didn't, when I was, was growing up, I didn't. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure I never had any Goosebumps books. I do remember watching the show. I think it started in like 95. Maybe it actually started earlier. I don't know, but I do remember watching the show from time to time throughout the years. Didn't matter if it was in the nineties or later on reruns. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark was more of my thing because it was a little earlier than that. Goosebumps. And then the books, the scary stories that tell in the dark books I was into. Because I want to say... This is number one here. Uh, welcome to Dead House. Obviously, they're all by R.L. Stein. You get these little things in the back. More Goosebumps books you can write in, I guess, to get. Here's other books. Um, which is kind of weird because this goes all the way up to number 20. Um, it starts at 295 and goes to three and a quarter. This, this is a 350 US 450 uh, Canadian. These are all scholastic books. Um, see, this one says 92, but I don't know if this is the first printing. I don't know. It says first scholastic printing, July 92. Um, but either way, 92. And I would have been in, well, July 92, I would have just finished up seventh grade month before, so, but I don't think I ever had any of these back then. I do remember going to these book fairs, though, at school, uh, elementary school. And then they'd have them later on, and they'd have them, and just have them, because usually in, in elementary school, it's just for the students, you'd get a couple bucks from your parents, to go in there and buy books. It was like erasers and pencils and pens, posters, stuff like that. Um... But I do remember the high school had them. Because I remember in high school, I remember going with a couple of friends there. It was like a, I guess it was like a book fair slash. And they were selling all types of other stuff because they had VHS tapes in there and stuff. Because this would have been like maybe 96. Um, so they had a lot of stuff. It's almost like a flea market slash book fair. But anyway, this is number one. These all have varying degrees of wear to them. Um, like this one. This is cracks, spines abound. Um, it will just kill you. They always have little things written on them. Let me see if I can do a little focus here. It will just kill you, but I don't, I don't think it actually did in the book, because I'm pretty sure I read this one right. Um, they're all about 120 to 130 pages, and you always get a preview of the next book, a couple of pages. I don't know if these maintain the value they used to have. They used to be more valuable. Um, back in the day, well, I wouldn't even say back in the day, even a couple of years ago. Um, plus about books is even if you sell a ton of them, you ship a media mail because of the weight problem. Like you couldn't ship all these like priority mail because this is probably, you know, two, three pounds worth of books or whatever. So maybe more is expensive. That's why they do media mail specifically really for books and other types of media. But people, I, I don't think you're supposed to sell games, media mail. I forget how it goes. Um, sometimes the, you, the post office will actually see what's in there. They'll go through your shit. They'll repack it if it's the right thing. But, but anyway, I have a, this, I guess, is the first one. So I have... Um, so 
like 16. But here's the second one. Stay out of the basement. I actually do remember this one from the show. Guy had something going on. Huge plant things in his basement. Get a little description of what it's about on the back. This one's 122 pages. Let me see. Yeah, this is 92. It says first scholastic printing was also July. I know these numbers here, if you can see them. The three. Oh, God. That has something to do with the printing. I don't know how to tell that. I should probably find out that. Um... But yeah, stay out of the basement. These are all kind of... Some of them, the episodes would have, and they did the exact same thing as the book. Um... Because it was perfect in terms of, like, length and pages of these. Like, they fit perfectly with, like, a half-hour show. You probably could have gotten away with an hour if you wanted to. But they were able to cover pretty much most of the ground they had to. They had to. They had to. Uh, this one's in the right shape. I don't know. Minus this. <laughs> Monster blood. And you're always getting different kind of color schemes on the books. And you get a nice little picture there. This is a monster blood drive. Let me see. Oh, so this says September 92. But you see the numbers are different here. 14, 15 has a bunch of numbers there. Like I said, that means something. These ones never really had, these books never really had, like, sometimes they'd have a bleak ending or, like, a quick gotcha type ending, depending, but usually they would have a little quick jump scare, but the people involved usually made it out just fine. This one is, a uh, monster blood. Here's number four, so I do have the first four, and then it jumps a bunch this one is a say cheese and die. This one is definitely feeling the wear. This involved the camera Polaroid, I think. Um, Greg thinks there's something wrong with the old camera and his friends found. The photographs keep turning out wrong. Very wrong. Like the snapshot Greg took of his father's new car that showed a total. And then Greg's father is in a nasty wreck. But Greg's friends don't believe him. Shari even makes Greg bring the camera to her birthday party and take a picture. Only Shari's, Shari's not in the photograph when it develops. Is Shari about to be taken out of the picture permanently? Who is going to take the next fall for the evil camera? <laughs> and this is November 92. Was it this one? Oh, yeah. This one has writing on the inside, and it's funny because when the person actually would have written this, I don't know when they got the book, but they have their name, but on the birth date, they just put the month, and then on the address line, they put the rest of their birth date. So now I know they were born in September of 88. Um, you get a little about the author there in each one. Um, but yeah, you could write in on the on the here, and, and she, this person chose four books that they apparently never got because uh, this was never sent. But they wanted Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Be careful what you wish for. Um, the Haunted Mask and the Werewolf of Fever Swamp. That one looks it's like it's chewed on a little bit. Now we jump to 19 with another one that's all busted up. Oh, so we're jumping up to $4 here now, too, and it doesn't have it on the side. The back, the front, oh my god, the front has it on the back. $4 US now and 5 Canadian. This one has drawings in it. Yeah, this one's got scribbles all over it. That's why I might not end up selling these, just because they're so... I mean, I would... If I was selling these, yeah, this has writing, like, all in it. It's crazy. There's just scribbles and stuff all over the place. Um, I'm like, yeah, this one's useless. Um, 
even to read. I might as well throw it out. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. If I like listed these a lot, I would end up just saying these have varying degrees of wear. Some are in really bad shape because I'm not going through the whole thing with 16 books. I would just put like each book name and then put like severe wear and, and I'd probably put like writing in it and stuff like that. Torn pages, whatever. <clears throat> Deep Trouble is the name of this one. This guy's done. That hammerhead shark is definitely ripping him in half. That was number 19. Here's number 21. Go Eat Worms. I feel like this is a popular one. I don't know why. Some of them have the nice color schemes. It's like a light bluish with the purple goosebumps and purple worms. Don't, yeah, you eat the worms and they give you some kind of powers, right, or something? Maybe not. Maybe there's something else. <laughs> and you would actually get less, yeah, like the back of this, oh, there's two. Um... Always to get more books. I am included. Like, it's just you send it to the Scholastic Inc. P.O. box with money in there. I'll send a check or money order. Okay. <laughs> Here's a contest in the back there. In 25 words or less, tell L.R. Stein. L.R.R.L. What gives you goosebumps? The scariest, grossest, creepiest things you can imagine. I wonder if he, uh, he'll select one answer per month. Oh, let's see. Uh, if you win, your answer will appear in an exciting new goosebumps book with before and after pictures of you. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder how that actually went. I figured it was just him getting people's ideas and using them. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. Uh, I was 21, I believe. This is 26. Uh, my hairiest adventure. No, we think. Let's see when this was made. A parachute press book. So we're jumping in December 94 here. This is first scholastic printing, so I don't know if this parachute book, press book, was actually coming out beforehand. I don't know. Um... If you purchase this book without a cover, you should be aware that this book is stolen property. It was reported as unsold and destroyed to the publisher, and neither the author nor the publisher receive any payment for the strip. Oh no. That's funny because bookstores used to, I don't know if they still do, my friend used to work at a bookstore, I don't, I don't think it was B. Dalton, but they would actually tear the covers off books and just throw them out. I don't know why. I remember he brought a bunch. Oh, he's like, hey, you want some of these? I was like, sure, dude. He didn't sell them to me, though. He just gave them to me. But I was like, why are they ripping the covers off books? Kind of a waste. They could have done something with them. They just literally threw them out. Uh, here's another one here. He's having a really, really bad hair day. Um, like I said, it's always the same thing. And they all are usually about... Yeah, like the 120 to 140 pages, 135 pages. This one's in our right shape. I see, this is Night of the Living Dummy Part 2. This is an interesting color scheme, kind of like the pink and the green. This is the one, what's his name, Slappy? Yeah, he's the one who's in, he was in the show that just came out. Was it on Netflix or something else? I forget what streaming service it was on. And he was in both movies they made. He was in the one, the first one, definitely, with Jack Black. Um, pops out of the book. He, it's kind of, that's, I actually really like that movie. The second one was decent, too. The show was pretty cool as well. The show was a little more, like, mature. Um, but it followed the same thing. This has another person's name in it that owned the book. Other than that, this one's actually in decent shape, but of course, you know, 
name in there. He's still walking. He's still stalking. But these are back down. This one's back down to 350 to 450. So. And this was 95. May 95. See, I think the first, yeah, you see, I don't know, the first printing was May 95, but this was not the first print. Let's get a, same thing. Yep, 120. There's three parts of this. I don't know if the third one's in here. It is. Don't have the trilogy. Damn it. A shocker on Shock Street. So this is number 35. This giant, uh, supposed to be a praying man, is pretty sure it popped up in the movie. All the stuff from the books was popping up. They all came out of the books. Arl Stein, that's who Jack Black was playing. The actual Arl Stein had a cameo. Um, but he has his books locked up because they come to light. Life, you know, standard shit that's happened a million times. This one's got crap all over it. Um, and it's just, you know, the same thing over and over in terms of presentation. I'm not talking about the stories themselves. 95 again. You get the little pre... Oh, see, you get different previews in the back, though. Here's some stuff. You can get a water bottle and uh, whatever the fuck that is. A watch and a coffin. Oh, it's an official fan club pack. What are you doing, Kat? Oh, here's the Haunted Mask 2. Oh, see, here we go. This is number 36. Now, this is actually now telling you to watch the show on here. So, the show would have been out. I've, it must have come out in 95 because I feel like if it came out earlier, they'd have that shit plastered all over the books because you watch it. Back to 399, 499. In reality, that's not a bad price for what you're getting compared to like a book was 250, 300 pages. Stephen King it probably cost you like 10, 12 bucks. The paperback, hard copy is going to be more expensive. Same thing in the back. It's just $8.95 plus $2 shipping and handling. Oh, the good old days of $2 shipping and handling. <laughs> you get more books here since there's more out. Oh, look. The next one up is the one I read. This is a pretty good color scheme too. This is the Broncos color scheme actually. The like early Bronco, the original Broncos color scheme from back in the day. And the new one's a darker blue. Well, not new one. The one that's been there since 96 or 97. And here's Headless Ghost, which I just finished reading. And the video before this one. Same thing, it's telling you that crap. This is a pretty good one. Um, they're not necessarily scary. I mean, if you're reading when you're younger, like, you know, seven, eight, six, whatever, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years old, they might have moments. Some have cool little endings and stuff. Like I said, most of the endings are not. They'll have, like, a gotcha ending or something, but people aren't usually getting killed. Um, some will have, like, a little bit of a bad ending. But it's kind of just like, oh, look, uh, the monster's about to get him, but then it ends. They've got a real head start, so you always get these little pun-type things on here. And here's Night of the Living Mummy, part three, number 40. There, he's got some friends now, apparently. And he did do the Fear Street stuff as well. Um, Arl Stein. Like I said, I never, you know, once I got to 95, or 94, 95 was, well, 93, 94, ninth grade, my first year of high school, but it was still in the middle school because in Massapequa was 7th, at the time in Massapequa was 7th, 8th, and 9th in the same school. Then 10th, 11th, and 12th were in the same school. Just because it was too, like, my graduating class. It was about 15, over 1,500 students just in the, third, the three grades. I think I had, like, 511 in my graduating class. Um, so they couldn't fit, like fitting another 500 students in that school was, it's gonna, it was gonna be too much. Like it's a fairly sizable high school, but it was not holding that many. Um, but uh, this is part 
three. Every dummy has his day and his night. So this is 95, 96. Uh, first classic printing was February 96. So now they've taken the, the thing off. <laughs> the Fox News thing. Fox News, the Fox Kids. <laughs> they show us, they used to show us on Fox News. Um, when dummies speak, everyone listens. Do they now? Pretty good noise, actually. And this is number 41, so we're right back to the, uh, this is actually, in, this could be in the best shape. Nope. This is a Kmart sticker on the back. So Kmart was selling it for $2.99. Instead of the $3.99, Kmart was coming in like Scholastic. Yo, we're going lower. We're taking you down. He's no Easter Bunny. So this is a pretty bright and colorful cover, actually. And but and you have this back. Um, other than that, it's in good shape, actually. They just, I, they just, like, even back then, like, if you think about this, they're just throwing their sticker over the barcode, right? Like, at the end of the day, you've now affected this book. You know, like, why would the store put a sticker on the book that if you try to peel off, it's going to screw up the cover probably? And I'm not saying you're keeping this as a collector's item, but you're immediately buying a book and it has, like, a fucking sticker on the back? Like, come on. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> Is Kmart still around? I know all the ones on Long Island are gone. And here's a, one, another interesting cover here. Egg Monsters from Mars. Now this would have had some Goosebumps trading cards inside. Now this is uh, number 42, so three in a row there. And this is back to four and five dollars depending on what country you're in, USA or Canada. This one's not in bad shape. What was the 96 in here? Scholastic Inc. in New York, Toronto, London, Auckland. Am I saying that right? And Sydney. So they were around in some other countries there. See, this might be the first because it has the one there and it goes up. Which came first, the monster or the egg? <laughs> it's a very decent cover. They're very cartoony covers, obviously. And, uh, you get, let's see, how long? Well, this one's a little less. This one clocked in at 115, so a little under that 120. Let me get some different stuff here. Different advertising. The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, based on the new hot TV series. Need to send a creepy card. Looks like some postcard or something. So, smartly, they're just like postcard or whatever you know they did not have they had trading cards which were taken out of that and this is 43 every beast no the beast from the east and it's every beast from self and like i said the same as always a little blurb on the back always getting some kind of crap at the back back to the no 118 he's getting a little lazy here and uh <laughs> going a little less got another bright seems the ones with the animals on it are the brighter ones the bad hair day one too and here's the last one of these number 44 the sequel to say cheese and die say cheese and die again and the trading cards are not in here Goosebumps presents TV episode three with eight pages of full color photos from the show. Chilling stories based on the Fox Kids TV show. Um, so what do we add here at 44? See, I got these all, these I'm pretty sure all came, this is 96, from the same house. So they stopped collecting. I don't know how high it went. This is 44. And then you get Watch the Werewolf of Fever Swamp on Fox TV, May 17th. So they're giving you, this is coming out and they're giving you this sticker on here to tell you to watch it on the coming episode. Now they're, they're 
pimping out the books. The show has been pimped out on the books. And I'm like, And here are some other ones that had come out later. Like these three are choose your own adventure books. Remember those things back in the day? Now I don't know how these ones end. If you want me to read one of these, I can do a thing where I read it. And then at the end, I'm gonna need you guys to comment this. Like I'll tell you what page I'm up to and then you guys could comment or I'll leave a comment and you can put underneath like what way you want me to go and I could do the book that way. So let me know if you're into that. Although this is 25 minutes into the video, so I don't know how many people are going to get this far. So it has a similar back to the old books, more blurb, but a shiny front. But yeah, this is number three. Trapped in Batwing Hall. Now, I don't know how... And you see getting the same shit. I'm still over 137 pages. You're not getting any previews of anything else on this one. Um, how much were these? Four and five. Now these, on the original Choose Your Own Adventure books that I've read back in the day, most of the endings, it was very hard to get like a good ending. Most of them ended up literally with, I'm stuck over a boiling pot of water. I'm about to be dunked in. Like, you're dead. And like everyone, I don't know if these ones had that same thing. But these, well, these, these next two are the same thing. Got Night in the Werewolf Woods, number five. And number six, Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter. Once again, the shiny little thing. That's actually a funny cover here. Oops. Oh, my God. Um, this is our Choose Your Adventures, and you get more stuff in here. Here's two more. This is Give Yourself Goosebumps. Choose from over 20 different scary endings. So it's the same thing, but it's a different cover. And this is 98. So you got Snake Rattle and Run. No, sorry. Alone in Snake Bite Canyon. That was the little tagline. And Shop Till You Drop. Dead. So they get different covers. There's some kind of demon creature here and a rattlesnake. Um, same thing. They're the same kind of thing. Turn the page, whatever. When you get to a certain point, um, these were 98, so I don't know if, if I got those ones at a different garage sale. When were these made? These were 96, so these popped during the other ones. I don't know if he moved on to different things, because that's the thing. People probably wanted different stuff, or he was branching out. Like I said, he definitely did Fear Street. I don't know what else he did. Um, but yeah, that's just a show and tell of the Goosebumps books that I have. Like I said, I would, if you guys grew up with these, you know, let me know. You know, when those first ones ever came out, like I said, I would have been either I would have been going into eighth grade, so it's possible I, I didn't end up getting. I'm pretty sure, but sure I could have probably read a few here and there. But I did see some of the show, and I've seen a lot of episodes over the years. But yeah, if you want to see me read more Goosebumps books, let me know. If you want me to see, do one of those choose-your-own-adventure ones, let me know. And do that. Thanks for checking this out. And have a good day.